Good morning, Calvary. It's Friday and I'm Pastor Chad and I'm here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at, at one of my favorite verses in all of scripture, 2 Timothy 1.7. Uh, and I just gotta tell you this, I hate fear. I hate fear. I mean, I, I hate to be afraid. I hate when I feel fear. Uh, I hate what fear does to other people because fear is a terrible decision maker. And yet all of us are impacted by those feelings of fear in our life at some time or another. We may not act on them, but we're impacted by them because we feel fear. Uh, and then at that point, we have to decide what we're going to do. Because when we feel afraid, physically, we want to do one of three things. Uh, we want to run away. That's flight. Get away from whatever we're afraid of. It doesn't matter if that's snakes or an intruder or uh, making a decision. Uh, or we want to fight. We want to attack whoever's attacking us, whoever's threatening us. We want to fight back. Uh, or we just freeze. We just freeze. We're just paralyzed by fear. And so we don't do anything. Uh, and, and we just stop and we're just stuck. And you've heard the expression frozen in fear. And, and that's how some of us become. And, and I just want you to know, I hate fear because God hates fear. Okay, the only, the only fear that God approves of is fear of the Lord. When you understand who's God and, and, and what he can do and the fact that we owe him our allegiance and our reverence and our respect and our obedience, but all other fear in Scripture is condemned. In fact, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but the most repeated command in the Bible is do not be afraid or some derivative of that. Do not be afraid. And today's verse reminds us to not be afraid. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and discipline, or self-control. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. And, and here's the thing. Uh, most of us really like the idea of being given a spirit of power. A lot of us like the idea of being given a spirit of love. I don't know anybody that gets excited about a spirit of self-control. Uh, but we have been given a spirit of self-control. In fact, we know from Scripture that one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit living in you is self-control. And yet, we don't get real excited about that. But today, I'm going to challenge you to choose to live in self-control. What does that mean? That means stop losing your temper. You didn't lose it, you gave it away. Okay, that was a choice you made. Step away from the ice cream, or the cookies, or the cake, or the third portion. Okay, that's self-control. Turn off the porn. That's self-control. Repent uh, of your social media addiction. Put the phone down and spend time with your kids or your spouse uh, and, and live your life controlled by the Holy Spirit of God. You see, let Jesus be glorified in your self-control because he'll meet you there when you make that choice to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow Jesus. And remember, no matter how you're feeling, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but he's given you a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of self-control. Let's live in that power. God bless and have a great day.